That's 2400 South. That's the airport, Heber Airport. Just to give you a reference. And right down here, I'm gonna show you this tree right here. This is gonna be a virtual guided tour for the guys at work who uh, have failed to ask me to take them on a tour. I'll give you the virtual version since, you know, you're too timid to ask me to take you out and show you the deal. Because when I made that video across the street at the fishing game burn pit, I said, I will be educating some guys on the job about plasma fire and they will be Illuminati. That is now true. That has now happened. At the time, I actually had Nick in mind and he was still working with us. So this tree right here, burned about three years ago. See how that's charcoal right there on that limb, but unburned here? And all the spotty intermittent burning. This tree burned about three years ago, and all of this is what grew out since it burned. And it was a giant tree. There was about three of them right here along the road by the airport. Oop. <clears throat> There you go, that's a good shot. So you can come by here and look at the spotty burning on this giant limb. This log that's laying right here, this was part of the tree that burned. Come by, check it out for yourself, if you dare. Ouch. See it's highly burned in here, totally unburned right there. Anyway, so I'm gonna show you a couple more that are just like this one. This was a giant tree right here and that's the size of the limbs that were coming up from clear down there to right here. This was a giant tree that burned and everything that you see is growth that came out from the last three years. So it leaves a part of the root viable and produces new shoots after the tree burns because this was a giant ass tree that thoroughly burned and there was three of them. This one, another one, and one further down. We're still only a quarter mile down the road from that 2400 South street sign. That tree right there is the one we just looked at. This tree, everything you see here is new growth from within the last three years. Walk up and take a look at the stumps and the logs that are laying on the ground. Those are the pieces of the tree that burned three years ago. 2018 or 2019. You can see what's still left right here has the spotty burning all over it. That was the size of the tree that burned. It was huge ginormous so I'm not gonna try and get too close I, I could hop through the uh, I could hop through the barbed wire fence but no need these are limbs that were sticking out of the giant tree that burned these are new shoots that have all come through within the last three years from the root that remained viable they came right up through the wood that was burned all to hell still is burned all to hell. You can still see all the burn marks all over it. But because of the glare and the angle of the sun right now, and I don't want to bore my regular viewers with shitty footage, I got some more stuff I'm going to show you down the road that looks a little better. My point is, you see that? Charcoal right in the middle with the unburn and the burn There we go. You can see the burn, unburn pattern on that wood. Giant ass limbs that were sticking out of this. This whole thing is one big uh, tree base. And the limbs sticking out of it were huge. 
See the burn unburn? Burn right here, unburn above it and below it. That last tree we looked at is right there. So we're just down the road. The airport is still just right there, Heber Airport. You can see that these are burned. These fence posts are burned on the bottom side from the energy that's radiating up from the ground. You can see the intermittent charcoal right here, completely unburned right there, completely unburned right there. These are fence posts that are just off the side of the road. I don't know what I just recorded and what I didn't. So I'm gonna re-record it even if I already recorded it once. See how it's charcoal right there? From there to there, it's charcoal on the top side, unburned on the bottom side. All along here, it's burned on the bottom side, unburned on the top side. It's burned on the bottom side because of an ambient radiation coming up from the ground. This is the same fence post that we just looked at. How it's burned here but unburned on this side and unburned on that side. Fire don't do any of this. Plasma does all of this. That piece sticking out of the ground right there is pure charcoal. Yeah! This piece, oh, See how it's charcoal right here, but unburned right there? Fire don't do that. So this is all plasmosis. The Heber Airport is still just right there. Those buildings are the Heber Airport. You can come check this out if you want for yourself. Still on the same road, but a little bit further down, headed towards Provo, through Provo Canyon. We just passed through this light. And for a reference, right here next to this square cement platform, you can look on the bottom of this fence post right here and it's reduced to a very thin shred. Of the total diameter of the fence post. Fence post is 8 to 12 inches around. What's left there at the bottom is about 3 or 4 inches around and turned to charcoal with the intermittent burn pattern here and total charcoal there. Total charcoal up to here and then zero burn from this point up on the fence post. 12 inch diameter here, three or four inch diameter there. And turn to charcoal. Can you see that? I sure hope so. So come check it out if you want. Because whether or not you turn a blind eye, you will not avoid the consequences of this in your world and you're probably better off being prepared and aware rather than blissfully unaware and remaining the bliss of ignorance. Ignoring it isn't going to avoid it. Sorry. And I hate to be the one to ruin the night. Right before your, right before your eyes, I say you kill your heroes and fly, fly, baby, don't cry. Don't you worry, cause everybody will die. Every day you just go, go, and so you can avoid paying attention to this shit, you know. But don't you worry, we love you more than you know. Fire doesn't burn the bottom of a fence post down to three or four inch diameter and leave the rest at 12 inch diameter. Plasma does that. Very different law of thermodynamics that are at work here. And then you just go a little bit further down past the Euclid timber plant and we'll check out some of this sagebrush here on the side. Right here next to this place that grows these little aspens and pots or whatever. You can see that this fence post is pure charcoal. Right next to it, we got some 
some sagebrush. Charcoal here, unburned on both sides of it. You can't see in there because it's uh, there's a shadow messing it up. But all along here, all this sagebrush. Has the plasma fire burn signatures all over it. Charcoal here, unburned here, unburned there. See that? Charcoal in the middle. Unburned over here, unburned over here, charcoal in the middle. And it does that going clear up this branch. Unburned here charcoal there and it does that with all of these pieces of uh, charcoal here the, the sun's at the very wrong angle charcoal here unburn there I just need to film one from the other side I guess charcoal on the end of the branch here charcoal on the end unburned here and then burn spots going all the way down charcoal here unburned on both sides charcoal here unburned on the top Flame touching the wood burns much more evenly. Sun's not at the right angle, but I think maybe we're able to get this one. You can see that it's charcoal over there and unburned over here on the sun facing side. Man, I can't see crap with the glare. That's the problem with the sun facing on it. It's also facing right on my screen. So there you go. Charcoal here, unburned here. All of this. This is the most common burn pattern right here. The circular burn on the end of the branch. Of course my shadow's on it. Perfect circular burn pattern on the end of the branch unburned here charcoal here unburn here and unburn there again with the perfect circular burn pattern on the end of the branch charcoal here unburn here and so it goes with every piece of sagebrush that's around here, all the ones that you see sticking up, each and every one of them has this burn signature on it of the plasma fire. Burn streak coming up right here. Charcoal here, unburned on both sides like a lightning bolt going up through the wood right there. So, I think I'm about done here. Charcoal here, unburn here. If you're interested, there's plenty of this stuff to go around. Take a look, or don't, or don't. Ignorance is bliss, I get it, I get it. <laughs>